Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. Now, I just want to give you a little update. I'm sitting here in front of my brand new Ender 5 Pro 3D printer, and uh, I just wanted to share a couple of things. I got this to sort of, I don't know, I just want to start working on something different. So, working on some props, um, accessories for action figures, etc. Um, so, I just want to go through a couple of things that I've already um, put together. So, I started off with... I didn't start off after after tuning up the printer and you know set up set up. Um, there's an Instagram user Lance Better Luke who had a bunch of three free files on his Patreon. Um, so I printed out this sort of pedestal thing from Rise of Skywalker for the burnt Darth Vader helmet. Um, you can sort of still see a little bit of the line work. Could have sanded that out a little bit. Even given another couple of coats of paint or primer, but um, yeah, just really just testing the waters of you know painting, painting the PLA, which was as you can see there green, um, which is on the roll there. So uh, yeah, I'm just just at the moment I'm really just sort of playing with it to um, increase you know just little additions to my action figure shelves. Uh, this is a little trial I did. This is a uh, clone trooper backpack. I um, hope to find a different version that I could put a real piece of cloth on. As you can see, the cloth is sort of um, part of the build, part of the model. Um, and I will re be reprinting this uh, just to go try and get a little bit more detail out of it. Out of it. Um, you can sort of see the, the line works pretty heavy on that. So, uh, you know, it came out nice and clean, but, you know, it's it's such a small piece that, you know, by the time you sand it, sand it down, there won't be much of it left. So, I'm going to just try and up the quality of this one and uh, paint that up. So, one I started off with, this is another Landspeeder Luke creation. Now, this is, if you recognize this, this is uh, one of the crates from Jedi Fallen Order. I still need to do a couple of little spots of paint and uh, a little bit of weathering, which I've sort of done already with sort of a bit of a black wash over the over the silver, sort of in there, a little bit of dry brushing over the top of it. But um, yeah, just need to tidy up the buttons a little bit, and then I can give it a nice clear matte finish. Again, green. I didn't paint the bottom. I didn't think I needed to. Um, but yeah, if I go quickly grab. <laughs> My BD1 Black Series, and so sort of sit him on it. So get the idea. So yeah, this is a solid, solid piece, um, but it is pretty damn awesome. Again, didn't do too much sanding. I mean, it's going to look sort of rough and weathered, even with the paint on it. Sort of. You still get a little bit of that line work from the layers, but I think it actually came out pretty well. The sort of green paint I used, I sort of slapped that on pretty thick. Yeah, it's not it's not perfect, but um, you know, I'm just sort of just trying these out. I've got to get some better quality brushes and some more paints. Um, funny enough, these colours are actually from. Actually, Boba Fett's green and yellow from his from his armor. So what I printed last night were a couple more of these crates that actually open. So they printed individually. There's a bit of room in there. That's cool. So you can put some extra accessories in there. And uh, if I can just sort of pop that in. Yeah, we'll so carefully. Try with the other hand. get the point anyway on okay. we got there eventually <laughs> um, so yeah similar I scaled them down just a fraction you can sort of see the just the slight difference but they're gonna be somewhere else on the shelf so it's it's gonna work out okay I got them pretty close in um, Cura which is the program I'm using to um, sort out the files and stuff before I print but yeah I think it still works scale wise 
it still looks good. But yeah, having having them out, out be able to open like this is really freaking cool. It's slightly different model too. So it's a slightly different shape, but they're different crates. Um, so there's another one I could do, which is similar. It's got the little stim canister poking out. So if you remember in uh, to the Fallen Order, you got to get the stims. Bought it. It's fine. So yeah, I'm going to paint these up today. I'm going to start painting them up. Just prime them up a little bit. Give them a little bit of sand on those rough edges just to tidy it up. And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to try and give you guys an update once they're done. So I've got a couple of these to do. I'm not sure how long the print was. It was about six hours for both of those, I think, from memory. I uh, set up before I went to bed last night and I just sort of let them, let them go throughout the night. And they're actually slightly different too, so slightly different lids. Different crates, which is cool. And it's the same same box, different lids. So that's cool. I'm gonna paint them up differently. But yeah, nice to have them actually opening and stuff. And put some different accessories and bits and pieces in there. You know, like a poncho. <laughs> Things you find in the game. But yeah, I just wanted to share that, and uh, this is kind of what I've been up to. I um, should have some more Black Series reviews coming this week. I've got a couple of figures to go and pick up today, and hopefully in the next day or two I'll have, have another one. So, yeah, I've been working on more stuff. I'm uh, currently in the process of doing Plo Koon's lightsaber hilt. Um, so I will do a little video feature on that once it's complete, and... Uh, yeah, it should be fun.